On the last episode of What We Know, we talked about quite a bit of things, but now it's time to get into the next one, so here we go. So first of all, I just want to apologize to the people that created the Just Paste It link or page. There was a bit of a miscommunication on my part. When they had actually sent the link, I thought that they had actually found the page, when in reality they were the ones that created it. So, uh, whoops. My bad. Since then, they have updated the page and keep adding more things to it, as more things come out for Ready or Not. Thanks for the stellar work, guys. Keep it up. On well, most media sites, there hasn't been a whole lot going on, but uh, on today's agenda, we're going to be starting with Instagram. Savvy viewers will notice that there is a brand new image, and said image is named RESCUE in all caps. So really, RESCUE! <clears throat> what do we see? Well, it's raining, obviously. It doesn't look like the sun is out, but the reflections on the SWAT officer may say otherwise. But then again, it could also be some lights or lightning. I really don't know, because the picture doesn't show the other side. Side. On the right side of the image, there seems to be a structure that seems to be under construction because that looks like a lot of scaffolding. Could this be a homage to the old Granite Hotel map from SWAT 4? Central VCC to Adam Boy, truck one on tap one. You won, go ahead. You won. SWAT is needed for hostage rescue. Commander 20 Adam requests you respond to staging area at 1700 West 7th Avenue. Unknown individuals with suspected militant group ties have abducted at least two hostages at the Old Granite Hotel. Suspects have been in contact with local news media and issued demands for $12 million in ransom. You won, Roger. Show us en route. ETA driving time. Okay, men. This one's a zoo, and it isn't going to get any better. The self-declared militia group America Now has taken real estate heir James Betancourt Jr. and Lawrence Adams, his general contractor, hostage. Apparently, they were touring a current project, the old Granite Hotel, and were taken while inspecting Adams' work. Now the suspects are holed up on the top two floors of the hotel, demanding $12 million ransom by midnight. They claim that Betancourt Investments owes this as a down payment on their debt to the American people. America Now is a small but active domestic militia group. They are fiercely isolationist, opposing immigration, free trade, and foreign-owned interests. Most of their previous actions have been against foreign-owned properties, either sabotaging them in the building stage or engaging in serious vandalism, making the properties too expensive to maintain. This is their first kidnapping, and it may indicate a shift in the group's tactics. Given the public nature of the incident, the group is clearly looking for publicity as well. We've spoken with the media and received some cooperation. However, it's not clear how long that will last. Expect the America Now suspects to be well equipped and to act as a group, but their inexperience with hostages may make them even more dangerous to the civilians. Take extra care. Now, on to the victims. James Betancourt Jr. is the son of the CEO and majority owner of Betancourt Investments, a French-based property development company. Six months ago, they purchased the granite out of bankruptcy for $12 million and have been renovating it ever since. Junior has been in charge of the renovations and was doing an inspection of the renovation work when he was captured. Lawrence Adams is the general contractor and the architect in charge of doing the renovation work. The suspects are on the top two floors of the hotel, the 6th and the 7th. You'll find the blueprints on the board. We've cut power to the elevators, and one of them is trapped between the 5th and 6th floor. You can either go up the stairs or down the elevator shaft. Recent gunshots were reported coming from the 7th floor, so it's time to go in. Hmm, I don't know. It could be, or I could be overthinking things as I usually do, but it seems interesting either way. Moving on. Underneath the structure, we have what looks like some type of box, which I believe is a shipping crate, but I can't really say for sure. I mean, at first I thought that it could be one of those nets that keep people away from construction areas, because it does kind of look like it's attached to the building, but then again, that would be one giant caution tape if I ever done seen one. The caution tape could also support the construction building theory, in my opinion. Why? Because usually 
when you see tape like that at a crime scene or like a you know a police thing it doesn't say caution it says police zone or whatever up next we are finally going to look at the SWAT officer he appears to be carrying someone which I believe is a civilian more than likely if we turn up the brightness on his back it says HRT what is HRT could it be a patch a part of the customization or I did a Google search and it reveals that HRT stands for Hostage Rescue Team. The Hostage Rescue Team is the elite tactical unit of the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation. I find this very interesting. Could this mean that they are in the game? I don't know. I remember them talking about joint operations in the AMA on uh, the Reddit, but I don't recall if the HRT was mentioned in any conversations. So I found this photo very interesting. And I got a lot out of it, actually, a lot more than I thought I was going to. But literally, the day after, they posted a new picture, which is called, Who Are You? The picture itself shows a bunch of people standing in line, and they are basically wearing the same uniforms. A couple of them look different. I'm not sure what they're wearing. Uh, I believe the helmet is called an Ops Corps. People in my Discord were saying stuff like Condor Gunner Carriers. They were saying that the mics could also be a Pelter ARC set or a Liberator 2 series headsets. So I'm not sure what's all in this picture. Anybody in the comments want to drop down there and be like, hey, I know I know what everything is. Let Uncle Durag know. I think the thing that really bothers me with this picture is like, what does it mean by saying, who are you? Is that like some kind of code? Like, who are you? Who are we? And then they start chanting about something. We are police. We serve and protect. I don't know what this could mean. Who are you? Who are you? We are SWAT. Who are you? I think another thing that really has me raising a lot of questions is, why are they standing in a line like this? Is it like one of those things where they're like at a protest or something and like they have like the shields up and, and they're standing in a line? Is, is that what this is? Like, does SWAT do that? I don't know. This is a very curious picture. I'm just like looking at all the hashtags that they have and it says, uh, Ready or not, PC games, Void Interactive, SWAT, police, tactical lineup. Oh, tactical lineup. That sounds interesting. Uh, gun, 3D, real time, uh, screen cap, special police. I'm trying to think, what police force lines up like this? Is it just SWAT? Like, I don't know. I'm curious, I'm curious to look up, look it up, but I'm like, what even? I'm just going to continue reading because I didn't find much. Unit, the boys, op score, tactical shooter, insurgency. Damn, did they like that game too? Raid, the raid. Could that be a name of the map or of the mission? Black and white. I'm not sure what that could possibly mean. Maybe like the lighting. I don't know. Well, that is all I really have to say about this picture, but it is very curious. If anybody else has something to say, let me know in the comments below. I'm cutting into my own recording by doing this, but uh, later on, on Reddit, somebody had posted about this, and somebody in the comments was pointing out that they're all different. Look at the curvature of the nose. The first guy has a Roman nose. The second guy has an upturned concave nose. There's a black guy or a Hispanic down the line showcasing the scan head models. And Gunter replies with, we wouldn't show off clones. That's for sure. Ooh. Okay, so a little bit more context into this, I guess. You know, these pictures were posted back to back in two days. Will they post another one? It's kind of record breaking now I think about it. I don't think they've ever posted like a picture like back to back like that. All right, well, I think I'm done with Instagram for today. We're going to be pushing on over to Reddit. The wealth of information that's just my favorite. Oh, yeah. Hopefully we'll get some pretty good questions and not, you know, memes as much. As much as I do like the memes. We're going to be starting with question. Easy, normal, hard. Will there be varying levels of difficulty? Now, I know this game will not be a casual game. And I am much more interested because of that. I'm not a garbage FPS player. I play CS. But I'm just wondering if you can make a game harder or easy-ish-er. Just want feedback if anyone knows. Thanks. And the developer replies with, Currently there is only one difficulty, but we're looking at possibly two core difficulties. But we'd prefer to leave it at one. Most of the shift in difficulty comes from the missions as they progress. Interesting. Alright, moving on. Question. Will tasers always work? Because they don't always in real life. See video. He shows off like a bunch of videos of people that are getting tased and actually falling down, but I believe 
there are certain people if you do specific things with your body then you can actually prevent yourself from getting tased but i, I don't remember how that actually works I think he explains best in the video. Somebody actually explains in the comment section here. Taser technology is designed to hijack the nervous system, thus affecting the muscularity system. So it works on about 90% of people. For example, the fatter the person, the less effective usually. The farther the spread of probes, the more effective. When my lieutenant hit me with X26, the lower probe went sideways on discharge and didn't drop me, but gave a hell of a lot of pain and pain compliance. It happens, but I'm not sure how super realistic they want to get. I mean, a good chunk of people also crap their pants too, but I don't see them adding that feature. And the developer replies with, definitely true. We're looking at maybe adjusting it based on if their user is overweight or on drugs but we're not going to alter its overall effectiveness since that would make players choose the item much much less somebody replies to him saying i know it's late but isn't this kind of the point i mean i'm pretty sure tasers aren't deployed all that often by swat teams unless there is an opening where officers can cover the officers deploying the taser because it might very well not work could you have an option where an ai officer gives you an auditory cue that they are covering you to deploy only possibly effective less than lethal items and guts replies to that saying the taser replaces your sidearm if it was largely ineffective, it wouldn't be very enjoyable to use. If it's going to be ineffective, you'll know before you deploy it, basically. It's highly unlikely SWAT would deploy a taser mid-raid, but we're building a game, not a bear simulator. Later on in the comment section, someone says, Oh, you just reminded me. The ballistic plate carriers officers use typically have a lining in them that renders the taser essentially useless. For instance, if someone stole an officer's taser and they tried to use it on the officer, not sure what you guys have planned, especially for PvP, but thought that it's worth mentioning and gunter replies to that saying there is a possibility no one will even consider picking a taser if we balance all the default gear against it we're all for realism but sometimes you just have to make concessions so that gameplay is fun and responsive i totally agree you know at one point you have to make it into a game and have realism kind of just you know fuck off that was a lot of interesting stuff so let's push on to the next one ah so the next post is talking about how they want to put a new picture for i guess reddit like they're trying to like do a bit of a contest here and gunter just says maybe maybe competition sounds fun i can't guarantee any rewards for anything though that's interesting it's always cool to have fun with the community every now and then i guess we'll push on to the next one up next we have how will the replay value be Considering this will be a single player focused game, will the enemy and other NPC amount, behavior, and location vary a lot? I liked in SWAT 3-4 how you had to always be on your toes. Every room, area, no matter how many times you played the map. Also, the amount of suspects would ideally slightly vary so that I can't go, only one bad guy left. And the developer replies with, that's the plan. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Hi guys, it's... Sorry it took a while, but my other account got suspended. And so I made a new account to share my next version of the Ron sub icon. Why did it get suspended? So somebody in the comment section was basically asking for a deadline of when they want to, you know, end this contest. And Gunter simply replies with, Currently I'm way too busy to focus on a contest, maybe in a week or two when things are balls to the walls. Moving on to the next one, we have Steam Community Items? Not sure if this has been mentioned, asked yet, but will there be Steam trading cards, backgrounds, emotes, etc? And the developer replies with, yeah, that'd be a good way to show off the artwork. Hmm, cool. Where's Gunter? And the developer replies with, busy making a game, you might have heard of it. I read every post though. Much love. Ooh, baby. And that's it for the serious section, let's move on to the me. Uh, up next we have it's finally there a trailer for the fingernail paint and dye hair <laughs> she's actually funny and the developer replies with vogue dlc when this freaking video is hilarious this, this is 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 up next we have well we have seasonal operators god i hope not <laughs> God damn it, these fucking devs. Plans are to add pepper and salt operators first, then the thyme and basil operators. <laughs> Finally, following up with the dried mustard and paprika operators in Q4. <laughs> Somebody replies with, you're just going to ignore the cinnamon like that? Gunter replies with, big cinnamon has a stranglehold on the spice market. It deserves no recognition. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Dude, these devs, dev jokes are 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 dev jokes. An end to the meme saga. Gunter, developer, hands over. So I guess there was like a whole 
meme going on about a gun that was being mentioned in the game. Like, even in my Discord, people would come in and fucking ask for it, and it's like, what the fuck am I gonna do? I'm not a dev. I'm looking at the Ready or Not Discord, like, I would see a shit ton of, like, Reddit posts about the same goddamn gun. I'm just like... I, 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 <laughs> and the developer replies with, you will bow. And that's all we have for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I guess I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.